Hey everyone, Vinayak here. I have tons of cameras around the house, but I always wanted to try out these bulb cameras. And these cameras fit into your standard B22 bulb socket. How well do they work? Let's find out in this video. This is the Fitex PTZ 1080p wireless bulb camera. Simple cardboard box. Maybe there's another box within. Made in India. I don't trust this mark much now as a lot of CCTV cameras in the market are generally rebranded Chinese cameras, but they always seem to have the made in India mark. Maybe the cardboard box is made in India. Inside we have this nice blue bag and the bulb within the bag. Also included is a marketing sheet and this reset button pin. I will show you where it's supposed to be used later. Instruction leaflet looks detailed. Now for the camera and here it is. This is a PTZ or pan tilt zoom camera attached to a bulb mount. The camera can move left, right, up, down to the position, the view where you want it. And we have these lights in the front on the face for our IR LEDs for night vision and the yellow LEDs are for white light illuminating the area for a color image. Nice big lens in the center and the camera can record in 1080p full HD and has a 90 degree wide angle view. I would have liked the lens to be more wider. This is a standard B22 mount used in most Indian homes. Just plug in the camera and it takes its power from the bulb port itself. If it I can made in India is marked on the back. There is a QR code below my finger which is used to pair the camera to the app. Moderate size and not that heavy which is important as the camera would be hanging off the bulb port. On top or maybe the bottom when hanging upside down, we have the micro SD card slot and the reset button hole on the side. You would use the pin included to press the button within to reset the camera when setting it up. Remove the older bulb and install the camera in the same mount. I'm installing it outside even though it's an indoor camera. This area is generally protected against the rains. So let's see how well it works. Power on and the camera boots up and it would calibrate the PTZ extremities. Okay, it's looking somewhere else. Uh, we need to set up the V380 Pro app to set up the camera. Create an account and log into the app. Tap on add device. We are asked to scan the QR code to initiate the setup. If it's not connecting via the QR code, enter the camera ID manually and select the camera hotspot from the Wi-Fi list. Once connected to the camera Wi-Fi, continue the setup. Set a password for the camera and we are in. Okay, the app and the camera are connected via the camera's Wi-Fi uh, hotspot. Now we need to shift it to the Wi-Fi router. So settings, network, Wi-Fi station mode and select the Wi-Fi and enter the password. Give it a few seconds and the camera would shift to the router. Okay, now we can move the camera and point it to where we need it to look using the up, down, left, right buttons below. Once we have the angle set, it's done. I'm installing a 32GB micro SD card into the camera for recordings and the camera supports up to 128GB memory cards. Make sure it's formatted to FAT32 for it to be detected instantly. Here's how the view looks. I did have a lot of problems with the connectivity when installed outside. Now I have shifted the camera inside the house with it being in line of sight to the router. It's working much better now. One wall between the router and the outdoor and the camera had tons of uh, connectivity problems. I have a mesh Wi-Fi setup, so the signal outside is quite strong. Even with the router being in line of sight with the camera, the Wi-Fi signal is weak. At least indoors, it connects better. My other devices such as my 4K TV has no problems even if the, with a wall in between the router and the TV. We can use the speaker icon here to listen to the audio from the camera mics. And uh, we can also shift between SD, or, which is standard definition or high definition video feed. If you have more than one if we take camera, we can activate the grid and view multiple feeds. Full screen button is on the right corner. Here's how the pan and tilt option works. We have the option to take a screenshot, record a clip or use the mic icon for two way communication. And this is the quality of the audio via the camera speaker. Use the replay option to view recordings on the micro SD card or if you have subscribed for cloud recording, you can view the same via this option. This is how the camera recording looks during the day and this is night vision. If your camera video is upside down, use the inversion option to invert the image. Light control. Set how you would want the light to react to the environment. Do you want it to be always on or switch on when necessary, which is auto. Preset PTZ to save preset locations to easily move between them. 
and a motion track is to track moving objects in the video frame and the default guard position is which it would be returned to when there is no motion. We have an alarm option also on the app and this is how the alarm sounds. Image settings if you want color or black and white recordings. Calibrate the cameras, pan, tilt and zoom in case it's not moving back to the right location and needs to be reset. So what do I like about this camera? It directly fits into a standard bulb mount. No extra cables to pull as it's using Wi-Fi. The LEDs on the camera gets pretty bright recording video in dark areas in color instead of just black and white. And 360 degree rotation is a great feature in a camera this small. What I don't like, uh, the wide angle lens is not wide enough, you cannot see much on screen in one go and connectivity is quite bad even though it's quite close to the router and this is with a mesh setup. I have set up a guest SSID on my router with 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi only to be used by my smart devices and this camera has a lot of connectivity issues. When it works, it works but if you try to change views a lot then it starts to lose connection. You can try installing a repeater close to the camera for better connectivity. So that was the Ifitech 1080p wireless bulb camera. It's not the best one out there, but the quality is not that bad either. Especially useful for users who don't want to run wires to the camera and want an easy plug and play camera setup. So how did you like the camera? Do you have one too? Which model do you use? So that was the video. Make sure to like subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.